Hello, everybody, wherever you may be. My name's Larry. My call signs Kilo 7, Hotel November. I'd like to welcome you back to my shack here in Northwest Oregon. This is Ham Radio Live, show 106. I'd like to ask you to please hit the subscribe button. Subscribe button is real important because we don't monetize the channel. You're not going to see any ads here. Simple to watch all the way through. In fact, it's designed to listen to more than watch, to be honest. There's some elements that'd be cool to watch, but it's designed to be able to be easy to listen to. I hope you find it that way. It's my privilege and honor to meet you today here. Thank you for coming. Going to be showing you just a special show devoted to the new Elecraft K4. Now, it's not here yet. It's coming. It's close. We're getting close now. There's an empty spot right there for it. So we just got to keep the brochure right there, okay, to remind me that it's almost here, if you know what I mean. Waiting. Just waiting. Parts are hard to come by. Elecraft, like every ham radio manufacturer right now, is waiting on manufacturing. Manufacturing slowed by the coronavirus due to factories. That's the honest truth. Factories on the world are on short shifts, you know, because they can't put so many people in factories right now, making things like semiconductors, transistors, various electronic components, because quite honestly, the coronavirus restrictions of people working closely together prohibits that. So they're not coming out as fast as they used to come out. You know, so it's going to be a little bit longer time. Elecraft's getting them out, just not as quickly as I know they want to. And I know a lot of people on the waiting list want to, too. But hang in there. They are on the way. I want to talk to you today because it's important to tell you about the new K4. If you want to get a K4, okay? And it's a good one. This is going to be an amazing radio. You have until December 31st to get onto the list. If you want to put down $1,500 as a deposit for your K4, you can get into order group two. That can put you way up in the line. That's important if you're interested in the K4. Now, I received from Madeline at Elecraft this Saturday, this K4 brochure. And from what I understand from Eric, it's pretty much full size. This is almost actual size of what the K4 is going to look like. To give you an idea in terms of its size, it might surprise you. It really might. This is a super radio, but not super heavy, nor super large. Believe it or not, according to specifications, it's about three quarters of a pound heavier than an ICOM 7300. That's no joke. That's that's pretty amazing when you think about it. So in terms of its size, the radio itself, dimension-wise, is four and a half inches high by 13 and a half inches wide and 10 inches deep. Its weight is about 10 pounds. Now, if you add additional modules, obviously, it's going to bring the weight up a little bit. But, I mean, you're starting at only 10 pounds, so it's not like it's going to be a heavy weight. But it's going to have a seven-inch color touchscreen on it as well. And let's go over a few options. This is important if you want to order one. Again, you have until December 31st, 2020 to get part of order group two with your $1,500 deposit. All right, the differences. You start with the K4, already an amazing radio. It's direct sampling SDR technology. You see, what, what, S, what the people at Elecraft did was they didn't rush in to super, you know, quick mode to develop their SDR product. Instead, what they did was they looked at SDRs on the market, they reviewed them, they checked into them, and they decided how they could best put the best components of software-defined radios and put the Elecraft name on it. They didn't rush. In fact, they waited carefully to make sure that when they were able to get everything the way they wanted to, then they went forward with it. In fact, this has been talked about for a couple of years in the ham radio community. When is Elecraft going to develop an SDR? Well, they are now, and they're slowly coming out of Watsonville, California. Now, the differences in the three models are this. If you start out with a K4, what you're going to get is, a, and all of them are 160 to 6. Now, the beauty of the Elecraft K4 is if you want to put two meters and 440 into it, there will be, from what I understand, a transverter card available for you to purchase optionally from Elecraft that you'll be able to put it right in the receiver, a transceiver. It's fantastic. 
Just like similar Elecraft products, this Elecraft will be able to be modular. So you'll be able to take optional components, simply slip them right in, put the lid back on, and away you go. It's that simple. So, two meters, 440, you want to add it? You could do so because on the back, <laughs> the antennas are already there. Yeah, you've already got your antenna inputs already there. Notice what else is there. Take a close look at what would be on your screen, the top left, HDMI. This is the only ham radio out there that has an HDMI out. There's not another one. I've looked through Apache Labs. I've looked through all the competitors. No one has an HDMI out. This is the only one. So K4, you buy the K4, you still got quite a radio, okay? You get 160 to six, you end up with direct sampling, 100 watt output, five receive RF sources, five receive RF sources, wideband dual watch, allowing the main and sub receivers to be set for the same or different bands. That's for the base K4. If you want the K4D, that's the next option up. Now, the K4D adds the KDIV4, that would be Kilo Delta India Victor 4 option, with a second set of bandpass filters and additional direct sampling at analog to digital control module. This allows the two receivers to use different antennas, okay? Requirement for diversity receive. What's great about diversity receive is let's say you have a couple of antennas. Let's say you have a great directional, not a, let's not use directional, let's use a vertical and you've got a great dipole. So you got a good wire and you've got a great vertical, right? And one of them could be a little stronger on receive or transmit than the other one, right? So let's just use receive as this example. And you're trying to pick up some really rare DX, right? You're right at the edge of getting that signal report, right? You've got the call sign, you're ready to go and you get in some fade and it's really hard to pull in, you go right to the other receive antenna, bang. If you've got better receive there, it's got diversity receive, it goes right in. You've got the ability to hear it better. That's how powerful it is. So it's gonna add diversity receive by letting you use two antennas at once differently. So two different antennas at once. So Two different sets of bandpass filters as well. Also optimizes signal handling when the receivers are on different bands or antennas. Makes it important. Now, third option is the K4HD. Now, from what they say at Elecraft, this is really good if you have some close station near you. If you have a really strong Yagi with some power running that's close by, or you're running field day, or you're running some sort of a parks on the air, or someplace where there's going to be some power close to you, all right? Or you just really want that high-end receiver. Here's your super head hybrid. What's beautiful about the K4, it's the only ham radio that will be on the market that can either be a direct sampling radio or a super head hybrid, okay? So really what it's taking is the best of direct sampling and the best of hybrid and you can put it in one package, use them separately or together. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Let me tell you about the K4HD. It includes both the K4 and the K4D, so you get diversity receive as well, plus dual super HEP modules, the KHDR4. So that would be the, K, the Kilo Hill Hotel Delta Romeo 4. Ideal for competitive field day contesting and de-expedition stations. Each super het receive section includes two crystal filters, one SSB bandwidth, one CW bandwidth, and the super hets are set at eight megahertz incoming frequency. So your super het receive reference frequency is going to be at eight megahertz. Has excellent dynamic range, so additional crystal filters are not required. For the Elecraft. Now, options. Like with similar Elecraft products in the, in the past, between the K2, the K3, and now the K4, the auto tuner is optional. 
Now you might think, well, that's kind of weird. If you're new to ham radio, why would that be optional? Elecraft auto tuners are very different than any other of the radios I've ever used. I'll be honest, I've had the other manufacturers. They're lightning fast. They're very quick. They also have a very wide impedance mismatch. For example, most of the high, you know, the, the common name radio manufacturers out there use uh, the tuners that basically only go three to one. I'm trying to think of the right word here. They'll basically auto-tune impedance mismatches of three to one or better. In Elecraft's case, they'll go all the way to a 10 to one mismatch, which is incredible. Now, if you're on 160 or six, it's probably going to go less than that. It might go to, you know, five, six, seven to one, somewhere in there, but it's still going to be fantastic. In fact, you probably should be resetting or rebuilding your antenna, making it more resonant, but it'll still make the impedance match. It's fantastic. The antenna tuners are optional on all Elecraft K4s, similar to the threes and the twos, all right? So that's an option that you need to pay for up front if you want it. But if you don't up front, maybe have the money, you can always add it. Just like all Elecraft products, like the transverters, it's an optional item. You can simply buy it later, unscrew the radio case, follow the instructions, set it in, put it back together, and away you go. That's how it works. In fact, you can buy the K4 two different ways. You can either buy it as a kit. You don't need to solder anything. Everything's all there. You just assemble it, put the case together, and away you go. Or you can have it factory assembled and sent to you. Now, to be a part of the second ordering group, you have until December 31st, 2020 to get a $1,500 deposit into Elecraft. They will then take your money and put you on the list. Once your radio is ready for sale, meaning they've got it pretty much either built or they have the parts for it to send to you to build, they'll take the balance, they'll ship you the radio. It's a fantastic thing. Some options that are available for the K4 will still be the KPA 1500 watt app that's still available and will plug and play right into it. The SP4 speaker, which is available for it as well, which is really cool because it's an A and B source selection, which is great. It's really cool so you can separate the two receivers. Also, the K-Pod controller, and there's also down the road for late 2021, there'll be a K4 Mini, which essentially is going to be a K4 that will be roughly a few inches thick. That's it. Still going to look exactly like the K4 front end, but it's only going to be a few inches thick. And if you imagine the regular K4 is going to weigh maybe 10 to 12 pounds, this is going to be far less. You could put it onto a TV tray or have it on your lap, enjoy it wherever you want to. It'll remote, it'll remote control your K4. It'll show you the pan adapter screen. It's going to be able to change your antennas. It's going to be able to change your fans, change your power, everything. You can remote it from anywhere. If you're interested, contact Elecraft. Their phone number, if you're a U.S. customer, is 831-763-4211. That's 831-763-4211. I'll have it in the description below. Or if you'd like to contact them by email, you can get information from them at sales at elecraft.com. That's sales at elecraft.com. U.S. made with many U.S. parts. Take a look at the back again, just the connectivity. It is absolutely stunning. And the receiver is just phenomenal. The one thing I'll tell you about Elecraft products that is really big to me, and it's one of the reasons that I went over to it, besides the fact I needed a remote unit that had knobs on it, was that Elecraft has a way of continually upgrading the firmware on their radios. So instead of having to go out and buy a new radio every few years, your radio just gets better and better. The product lifestyle, life cycle, I should say, is right seven or eight years on their radios. It's very long. Take a good look at the center. This is basically actual size of what a K4 looks like. And this is the same for the K4, the K4D, the K4HD. They're really, it's all internal. That's all it is. It's going to look exactly the same, say the same thing on the front. You're just going to see the difference when you use it more than anything else. So 
again, about 10 pounds as the D model, as you add the cards to make it a little bit more, of course it might add a little bit of weight, but you've got a lightweight radio that's an absolute top quality champion. Elecraft, you wanna give them a call to order it. You have until December 31st to get an order group two. 831-763-4211 or contact them sales at elecraft.com. I think the K4 is going to be the best super het radio, sorry, so, uh, software defined radio out there very shortly. I do believe that because of their history. I mean, you look at many of the product reviews for receivers, look at the K3S. It's like the top ranked super hat and everything above it is an SDR. Imagine what their SDRs are going to be like. Elecraft K4. Things going to be an amazing radio, an amazing transceiver that you can grow old with and continue to add more to. And I think the coolest part of it for me is I can remote it real easy. And if I want to add two meters and 440, I can do it. That's pretty sweet. Shack in the box. Hammer Radio Live 106, that's it for this show. Tomorrow we'll go over some stuff on the general and technician questions. We thank you for watching. Again, if you'd like to know more information about the Elecraft K4, please take a look in the description section below. Until next time, from my dear friend in Wiesbaden, Germany, with a good evening and a very good evening to you as well, Gunter. Delta Kilo 5, Oscar November, Victor. 73 is from Oregon. My name's Larry. Kilo 7 Hotel November is my call sign. Have a nice evening. We'll talk to you soon. Good night, everybody.